Okay, so what are the narrow parameters? For one, um, at least in my situation, and I haven't tried it otherwise, um, we have our pro system set up on a server, which here on this desktop is illustrated as just the Dell. But in Wine, I've configured it as Y, and at the Windows desk, I've configured them as the Y drive also. And so um, I've tried to run a workstation setup uh, using the Wine wrapper um, with Pro System there, and it it won't install. It, it'll start, but it'll give me grief about either uh, having to be the administrator or um, having uh, to have the correct version of Windows installed. And now the good thing about Crossover Office, and that is a, a, appropriate to you know what I'm talking about here is you notice here it'll say will install into a new WinXP bottle other application. Well you can choose different what they call bottles and these are um, emulated environments. Right? So if an application installs better in Windows 98 you would choose the Windows 98 bottle. Now there are, there are some upsides and some downsides to that and it also depends on your disk space. My computer happens to be fairly new and I've even I couldn't have ever imagined using 250 gigabytes. I've even partitioned my my uh, my desk here to have uh, I think about 50 gigs available for. I mean, the most I've ever used, even with Windows Vista, is a max of 20. And we don't keep our files here. We keep we keep them on the server. So, um, but the, the downside is is that when you choose different bottles, there are, uh, one common application that seems that applications seem to need is Internet Explorer and there are other common helper applications they're not really listed on the box uh, that the vendor sends out to say that you need this or that to run the app because most of the time those things are actually already incorporated in Windows or the installer itself will place it within Windows Okay, so we've got these different bottles, but for each of these different bottles, you have to set them up so that they have, um, they're using the same drive letters. So when people go into Quick and Basic, they won't be accessing the network with the Q drive, and then with Quick and, you know, QuickBooks 2004 will be accessing the network with the Z drive, and then with Access, it'll be the A drive. You know, you want to pick consistent things. I'll, I'll show you how to set that up. I'll just, maybe I'll just get into where we're at now. I've tried, at our office we have, we also use Caseware. This is not a substitute of what we normally use, except that we, right now, we're using, I think it's Caseware 2009, and the latest one that I can get installed and working to a point where you can probably do journal entries and print out a Caseware, although not in a perfect condition, is Caseware 2005. And they're from now and then you'll see people from various points around the world and <laughs> amongst Britain and the old colonies uh, speak English asking you know for some kind of help to install a later version of caseware but right now I've got caseware 05 here and the way I accomplished I used a, a Windows 2000 bottle and what happens is uh, nah, I won't get into installations now so double click on it and the thing about Ubuntu and GNOME that's different than KDE is I'll double click on something and I'll really wonder did that did that application actually start <laughs> and then it'll, then it'll pop up and sometimes if I click it again because I get impatient I'll have two of them open GNOME does have behavior where if you double click something will start um, KDE most of the time it's a single click but you can change that in your preferences at least in the old KDE 3.5 which I which I honestly prefer, but I'm warming up a little more to KDE4, even though I declared it as sucky not so long ago. Okay, so I'm going to open up this sample file that they provide. I've already, obviously, I've already done this before. You can see the the X rendering is not, you know, actually, you know, absolutely perfect. Here's the trial balance. You can look at it. You know, there's the sign-offs. I haven't done much with it, I've just set this up, and because, oh, there's a program error, woohoo! So, I mean, that's the situation that that we find ourselves in, basically. Um, and if I were to go back 
Further, maybe to Cookbook's uh, Caseware 04, it might run a little bit better, and I know that Caseware 2000 works almost perfectly. Uh, the last time I've done this kind of exercise uh, was when Caseware 2000 was running fine. Okay, so I'll stop here.